Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ria Jane Yude. It's a vocal nurse here in the UK slash violent hobbyist or enthusiast. So um, I would like to talk about um, bridges today because recently I uploaded some photos on Facebook of mga kinarf ko na bridges and my mga nagre request ng um, sound sample. Now the reason why I started to try carving my own bridges I not long ago, naglabas po ako ng um, video kung ano yung dapat natin sinecheck kapag bibili tayo ng second-hand na violin. Or in general, kapag bibili ka ng violin. Um, and I've made a wrong statement doon na sinabi ko, huwag yun ang masyadong pansinin yung tatak. Um, actually, it grades the quality of the bridge. And I would like to thank the people na tumulong sa akin na para mag-explain kung ano yung kahalagahan ng bridge. Sir Emil, thank you. And also, sa nag-comment. Um, and this is what I like about this channel. Hindi lang kasi ako yung may sinasabi. Actually, may natututunan ako marami um, galing sa mga viewers and sa mga comments and feedbacks. So anyway, balik sa bridge. Um, mayroong pong humihingi ng sound sample. So from the original bridge na my violin came with, um, it's unlabeled, unbranded. Um, Pero tiwala ako na maganda ang quality nito kasi um, well-regulated yung mga, mga nilalabas na products dito. And sa so Germany siya galing and you would expect na from an old instrument, isetup nila yan ng property para maging maganda yung tunog. But just for the sake of proving na tama yung sinasabi, I thought, okay, gawa ko ng experiment and at the same time mag ako. So, this student bridge from Obert um, has improved the tone of my violin. Um, so, so record ko na see you again and when we were young. Ito na yung gamit ko noon. However, yung pagkakakat ko kasi ng bridge ay hindi pa ganun kapulido and hindi lahat in contact sa feet. So, siguro I'm losing some of the sound na dapat natatransmit sa sa bridge ko. Pero, nung, nung ito na yung ginawa ko, yung parang mas mataas na grade dito sa student, uh, mirror, mirror court, mirror court, I don't know kung anong basa dyan. The tone significantly improved. For one, mas naging loud siya. Tapos yung response niya, mabilis, open, lalo na yung G-string. Never ko narinig yung G-string ko na ganon ka kabuo and talakas. Um, tapos dahil medyo by mistake, nabuwasan ko yung D and A string ko for about 0.5 millimeters. Um, it actually made my playing better kasi sa third position and fifth position, hindi ako ganon masyadong nahihirapan as compared dun sa um, sa bridge na kasama ng violin ko. So here's a sample. I just had to do this video again kasi most of the clips were blurred. Okay, here we go. So sa G pa lang na open string, I've never had an open string as open na sound na katulad nito. With the over na bridge na ginawa ko ng student para naging dull siya na halos mag-e-effort pa ako sa pagbubow. So, maaaring sa sound post position ko or sa pagkakakat ko. I don't know. Or sa wood. Pero this one is really open. sa string mismo, pero I like it. And then, so, rinig mo yung resonance buong buo.
and there you go so again the reason why i i'm just trying to carve my own bridge una sobrang mahal dito pangalwa this is a skill na siguro kapag na natutunan mo medyo malaki din yung matitipid mo eh pero syempre i wouldn't encourage this one lalo na kung sa Pilipinas alam mo marami kang pwedeng puntahan na mapapagkatiwalaan mo na gagawin nila yung best para sa violin mo. Dito kasi medyo mahal. So I would just rather learn. And kung kung masayang man at least may natutunan ako. So yun lang. Um, if you want to um, experiment with your bridge, make sure na may lang kayo ding ano, um, spare. Pero I would strongly advise na doon pa rin kayo sa luthier pumunta. Lalo na kung fine yung mga instruments ninyo and nakukulangan na kayo sa sound and kung wala kayo ng mga gamit. Kasi mas masasenta nila yung ayos. Okay? So, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hanggang sa muli. Bye-bye!